Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 16th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, world weather, and volcanoes. Starting out here, always looking at the last two days of imagery on our sun as we are going through an earth facing quiet since the X class solar flare. Things have quieted down dramatically as solar influx is hanging around in a low sea range right now. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, big culprit here for the X class solar flare sunspot region, and as well plasma filament spinning around there. It looks like it destabilized in the last few images. Back to the surface. Outgoing here. No major CMEs or solar events to report for today. We're still expecting the most recent glancing blow from a coronal mass ejection. Having a look at multi-spectrum pointing out the last 48 hours of, of events. Largest being the X-class solar flare. As well, we've got coronal hole regions turning away and one developing in the northern hemisphere. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Here's a closer look at the X-class solar flare that occurred just two days ago. Two nights ago. And we're getting ready to feel the effects over the next 6 to 12 hours. Having a look at that sunspot region there, that is the one that produced the X-class solar flare. But notable, coming around the bend, there are some large sunspot regions. And I do believe those are the culprits from the backside eruptions that we saw last week. Another look here at our sun today. Take a quick, take a quick moment to thank you for watching, pressing play, and as well, subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. Thank you so much. Consider giving a thumbs up and a share today. Let's get to 80,000 followers. We have five Earth-facing sunspots, two pretty big ones turning in for an Earth-facing party. So, heads up. Let's have a quick look at these sunspot regions in motion. This all brought to you by SDO, mixed with the dew for you. And thank you for watching. Current space weather conditions, we are under G2. Geomagnetic storm impacts are prevalent right now. Solar winds are coming in at 443 kilometers per second. Still slightly elevated. Well, dramatically elevated. They should be in the 250 to 300 range. Solar X-ray flux, as I said earlier, climbing right down into a low C range after that X flare. Proton flux will come back down. Geomagnetic activity, we were at a KP4 earlier today. Space Weather Prediction Center has not updated their space weather spiral. No new CMEs, I guess. But there is the most recent one, and we are expecting the impacts very shortly. Having a look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, same thing. They have not changed since last night. Carrying on here, having a look at Alaska 2, the last two days during this Earth-facing quiet. No new CMEs. But we do have earthquakes, and lots of them. As reported earlier this morning, we started out with a 6.5 earthquake that occurred last night after the video, just before midnight. 6.5 earthquake, Port McNeil, Canada. As well, we had a pretty deep earthquake here today. 522 kilometer depth, Fiji. 5.4 there, New Caledonia. 6.3, Marianas Trench. And from Japan, northward up to Alaska, seeing lots of seismicity and very peculiar depths of the earthquakes. 130 kilometer depths. And they've been occurring across the planet it ranging between the 120 and 130 so something is a, is changing at our core and i do believe we still have not seen the end of this earthquake event notable earthquake there off the virgin islands 127 calama argentina 130 5.0 magnitude earthquake as well 
Easter Island, south of Easter Island. And then a peculiar and rare earthquake today, 5.2 earthquake, Romania, 133 kilometer depth. And as I showed earlier today with the earthquake update from the Cascades, seismographs are going off around the world. I do believe we are still expecting something to come across California State, as we've seen the couple earthquake swarms, Walker, Texas, or sorry, Walker, California, and as well, Malibu, California. So heads up, my friends and family, this is not over. This is a look at the last seven days for Shakers, largest being the 6.5, Port McNeil, Canada. Now, this earthquake that I reported earlier did not affect humanity, unpopulated region, but people along the coast may have felt that. And if you happen to be watching and you did, please get in the comment section and let us know. Stay aware and prepared, my friends. Now let's get to weather here. Overlooking on Zoom Earth satellite imagery of Tropical Depression, Gordon. And as well, potential Tropical Cyclone 08L, who is bringing torrential downpours, heavy rains, and stormy conditions to the Carolina states. We've also got Cyclone Leanna heading up into the Gulf of California. Not much moisture associated with that one. And no other new hurricanes forecast through the Atlantic right now. Lots of fires burning through Brazil and Bolivia. So South America is smoked out right now. Overlooking the United States, big system rolling through right now, bringing even snow to higher elevations through Northern California and as well Colorado. Around the rest of the world, we did have Storm Boris that was affecting parts of Eastern Europe. Heavy rains, strong winds associated with that, an extreme weather event for sure, affecting about eight countries in that region. On the other side of the planet, we do have a couple tropical systems here. Spinning in the West Pacific, we've got Tropical Storm Pulisan. We've also got another one here heading towards the Philippines. And we've got Tropical Storm Babinka, as it is a typhoon, packing winds of 120 kilometers an hour. Category 2 typhoon, making landfall right now. Smoked out in parts of eastern Russia as well. A lot of wildfires that are burning there. Wildfires burning through California, South America. Now let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Windy.com. Showing that tropical system grinding up the coast. And as well by Wednesday, watch for an extreme weather event across central United States, central northern, and as well the Canadian prairies. With this large low pressure system coming from the Pacific Northwest. This is the one that is bringing snow to California, but watch as this thing grinds eastward through the Canadian prairies. A couple notable systems there grinding through the Atlantic provinces. Long range forecast staying dry through Ontario and West Coast getting ready to change as systems are coming through along the BC border. Overlooking Africa, South America. No hurricanes, no major extreme weather events to point out, but some pretty heavy rains through Central Africa this week. And as well, most likely a lot of thunderstorms. Watching in parts of Western Europe as big low pressure systems grind up into Iceland and then eventually Ireland. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, monsoon rains continue, and a couple typhoons. One of them is still remnants heading through parts of India. Long-range forecast does not show this slowing down at all. Days upon days of rain for Vietnam, Thailand, Myanmar, and as well India, both eastern and western. Notable systems I wanted to point out here for Australia and New Zealand. 
New Zealand's got a lot of moisture coming here over the next seven days. And as well, by about the 20th into the 21st, you're going to see things really change across the Australian continent, starting in the Northwest Territories. Big systems developing. Quick look here at the West Coast for the long range. Lots of moisture moving in. Here's a look at our snowfall totals for the next 10 days. Even through Colorado, Sierra Nevadas, the United States, and all through the BC interior. The snow is a falling and a piling up. As our polar vortex is setting up, as shown yesterday, upper level winds, things are really getting organized in the northern hemisphere. And it's showing here with these snowfall totals around the world. Heaviest amounts through Alaska and parts of northern BC. Now let's have a look at our current sea surface temperatures. As things are still very warm through the Gulf, sitting at 31 degrees Celsius right now. Across the west coast, things are cooling down from the north to the south, but staying extremely warm in the Gulf of California. Having a look here off the coast of BC, 12 degrees, 16 degrees, still some pretty warm waters around the Juan de Fuca Plate. All of these images brought to you by nullschool.com. I also wanted to have a look at our Atlantic Current. Quick glance here at these very cool temperatures that are funneling down already from the Maritimes. And as well as showing the transatlantic current. Let's get a wider view. And again, I want to thank you all for subscribing, wanting to stay aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. Welcome to the family. A lot of new followers, new faces recently. Get into the live streams, get into the chat section. I appreciate all of you and thank you so much. Here's a look at our currents in through the Atlantic right now from the Gulf and northward versus the temperatures. Still some very warm waters off the Atlantic coast and through the Gulf. Should be an interesting outro to the Atlantic hurricane season. I also wanted to give you a quick glance here. Look at these currents this year versus the same time in 2023. Just to see what kind of changes are going on 2024, 2023. And you can see that eastern side has dipped southward just a little bit. Friends and family, stay aware and prepared. Thanks for watching. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.